An important step in learning how to win is knowing your strengths and weaknesses. If you want to be a winner, you've got to stay on target and keep focus when necessary. Learning how to do this can give you the edge over others in many different situations. And that is what we're going to investigate here. Today, we're at a golf course and we're going to see how getting into the zone can drastically improve your game. Putting in golf can test the nerves of the most seasoned professionals. The closer the ball gets to the hole, the greater the anxiety about getting it in. So we've taken young golfer James Cox, who hates putting, to see if we can improve his game. We've wired him up to a machine that will tell me what's going on in his brain as he putts and show how distracted or focused he is. We'll then ask this man, John Pates, sports psychologist to seven Ryder Cup star players, to help him get into the zone and see if it improves his game. We've not made it any easier by asking James to putt on one of the coldest days of the year. How exactly do you help people to kind of clear their mind and focus on, on, on the win? Well, there's certain uh, techniques that we use, mainly involving uh, imagery techniques and self-taught techniques um, to create a, a different uh, emotional um, response from the athlete. And when they get into certain emotions, they, they play better. So is it always about relaxing the mind to perform better or, or sometimes is it better to be kind of excited and aggressive? Some people perform fantastic under a relaxed state and others perform fantastic in an excited state. Back on the golf course, we've asked James, who plays better in a calm and focused state of mind, to take 10 putts without any expert advice. 30 seconds to go. On this graph, when the line climbs, he's becoming calm and focused. When it drops, he's becoming agitated or distracted. Not surprisingly, when he's distracted, he misses more than he gets in. It's time for John to step in and try and calm him down. What do you feel when you're over a putt like this normally? Looking over a putt from here, to be honest with you, I'm expecting it to go in. Okay. But obviously, we're on to expectations there. That's yeah. when the pressure sort of comes on. So you've got a very outcome orientation. Definitely. Okay. Well, it's the, that's the first thing I want you to shut off. I don't you want to have any outcomes at all. I don't care how you putt. Okay. And what we're going to do is try a few techniques, a few mind techniques, which will help you put the ball in the hole more successfully. All right. So what I want you to do is... I want you to use the, the senses more. Okay, so all I want you to do is 10 shots with your eyes closed and see what happens. See what happens. It might seem crazy to attempt to putt with your eyes closed, but there's no better way to block out external distractions. And that helps you get into the zone. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. The brain activity in the few seconds before each putt is critical. The readings show me that he's managing to become more calm and better focused, and for the first time he's really getting into the zone. How did that feel? A lot more relaxed. Okay. A lot more relaxed. And how, what, what do you think was going on here? I think, think because you're concentrating more on the motion of, of the club, of the yeah. putter coming through the ball, yeah. you, your technique seems to be more what you're concentrating on rather than watching where the ball's gone, which can often find myself pulling putt. I felt in the zone and the techniques were definitely beneficial when I was feeling really good about my putting and it's definitely something that I'll be incorporating into my game and hopefully see some more success in the future. 